Hello again, it's Michael from Fujifilm. You know, cameras sure have evolved a lot from the time I was a kid and got into photography. Uh, and I think one of the handiest things is the evolution of touchscreen LCDs, which work a lot like your touchscreen on a smartphone. There's a lot of things you can do with this touchscreen LCD. So for those of you who may not have discovered this yet, we're going to explore this a bit. So the first thing, uh, hopefully you've already found this, is that in playback mode, you can swipe left and right to go uh, through your photos, to advance and go backwards in your playlist of photos that are on your card. Um, when you are on a particular image, you can double tap on the screen, and that will go into 100% magnification. And then when you are zoomed in like that, you can use your finger to move around inside the frame. And then you can use pinch gestures to zoom back out or zoom back in again, just like you would on a phone. Um, so one thing uh, also with playback mode on some cameras, like the uh, X-A7, the X-T200, for example, uh, when you are in selfie mode, and by selfie mode that means when the screen is turned around facing forward, you have the camera on a tripod to record yourself in front, you can turn on something called the selfie mode touch playback button. And what this does is, with that screen facing forward, it saves you the trouble of having to walk around to the back of the camera to find the playback button because you have a little playback triangle right there on the LCD facing you. So it's very easy to play back, and then it's very easy for you to go back into capture mode. Now, when you have your camera in capture mode, the uh, LCDs function as touch buttons as well. So we have a lot of buttons to start with, and now you can even have even more buttons by assigning different functions to swipe motions on the LCD. So you can get up to four of them. So you can go up to do one thing, you can go down to do something, you can do left and right to do other functions. So this means there are some things you can move off of buttons and move them to the touch functions if you prefer. Um, or you can simply add additional levels of control. And you do this through the uh, button dial setup item in the menus, okay? Uh, so it's very, very simple to choose a number of different things that you can assign to different touch directions. Now, there is also a special little touch button on some of our screens. It's in the upper right-hand corner. It's a little rectangle. And that is uh, kind of on the screen almost all the time unless you tell it to go away. Now you can tell it to go away in the display custom settings. There's a little item called uh, touch function. If you uncheck that, that item goes away. But what that little box does, it will enable you to toggle through different touch modes such as shot. And when it says shot, when you touch the screen, the camera will focus on where you just touched and it will actually take the exposure. When that little button says area, this lets you use your finger to move the autofocus spot to different parts of the screen. And when the uh, box says AF, when you touch the screen, it will move the AF spot to where you touched and it will also rack the focus at the same time. And the way you change which mode that little tab is in is by simply touching the tab itself. And as you touch it, it will change to the different functions. However, sometimes this gets in the way when you put the camera up to your face for, to view through the EVF and your nose can get on there and you can find yourself moving the autofocus point around. So if you want that to go away, like I said, you go into the display t uh, custom settings in the menu and you uncheck that uh, touch AF so it won't be active. Now speaking of active and not active, in the menu under button dial setting in the touch screen line item, you've got multiple things to choose from that let you set up the way the screen behaviors work. Now you'll see 
some of the screen behaviors are marked with a camera icon, which means they apply to when the camera is in capture mode. And some of the items have the playback uh, icon, which means they apply only when you're in playback mode. Um, so you can turn off the touch screen altogether, so it won't do anything no matter what if you want. Um, there is uh, a special double tap camera function, and that means when you are in the capture mode, if you double tap on the screen, it will magnify the image for manual focus purposes, so it will zoom in, and then you can double tap to come back out, just like you do in playback mode. Um, but one of the things that I think you should pay attention to is the one that's marked EVF touchscreen area. Okay. Now the important thing is those first three letters, EVF. So going into that line item tells the camera what to do with the touch screen when you have it up to your face. So when you have it away from your face and you're just looking at the LCD in normal mode, these settings don't have anything to do with it. But because when you put it up to your face, it may be hard for you to get to certain buttons, the EVF touchscreen area means you can designate a particular portion of the LCD screen uh, to be reactive to your finger for different uh, for those different touchscreen functions. Okay, so again, let me clarify that. You put the camera up to your eye for the EVF mode, and you can say, I only want the bottom left, or I only want the bottom right part of the screen to react to my finger touch to, in order to activate different functions. It's actually very, very nice, and again, especially handy with different people's noses and the way you hold your camera. All right, so... Continue exploring your camera and have fun. Go out there and shoot some fun pictures.